Hi everyone, thank you for joining me in this very short video, just looking at the efficacy and pharmacology behind different earwax softening agents, also known as serumelotics. So I tested seven different types of um, softening drops and agents that are commonly used in the treatment of earwax. So here, let's can't see my finger, this is sodium bicarbonate drops. And if you remember yesterday, um, the balls of earwax I produced are similar to this. So this um, is um, olive oil drops. So you can see the plug of wax is still um, in its original shape. There's a few frag um, bits that have broken off, but it has softened the wax. Um, I'll just come back this way. So that's olive oil, medical grade olive oil, sodium bicarbonate drops. This is urea hydrogen peroxide, also known as carbamide. Um, peroxide so the plug of wax is still there it's bleached it there is a bit of effervescence there so a bit of carbon dioxide that's been released but yeah, it's a very thick and viscous solution but the earwax plug is neither fragmented um, it's partially softened I did take it out and use uh, the um, right correct just to penetrate it and there was a bit of softening this is doxy Docusate sodium, um, it also uses a laxative. It's more common in America, I believe. So that's really fragmented the wax plug and also the lipids, uh, which is what uh, docusate sodium can do. Uh, moving across here, and I'm just gonna have a look at behind where I've got the different numbers so I know which one's which. This is um, sterile isotonic water, um, seawater. So it's 9%, uh, 0.9%, sorry, um, sodium chloride, and uh, alongside other minerals and electrolytes that mimic uh, the composition of bodily fluids. So it has broken it down. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can get that focus for you a little bit better. So it has fragmented it, but here you can still see the individual skin cells that form the wax plug. Whereas here, it's also broken down, the lipids will appear. Moving on to this here, this is hydrogen peroxide. And this, um, <laughs> there was loads of air bubbles that have broken, but it, you can see to the sides how much this um, solution rose. You can see the individual skin cells, bit of wax on the side, the inside of the container. And this morning when I came in, it really throffed up almost to the uh, let me see if I can show you there. Almost at the 25 mil mark. And the solution I used was um, 10 mil, so it really did expand. There's a lot of so hydrogen peroxide drops. It reacts with um, a, an enzyme secreted by the ceremonious glands called peroxidase. And when hydrogen peroxide reacts with that enzyme, it uh, transforms into uh, water and also carbon dioxide. So the water, I mean, this has got water in already. So it's a water-based drops, it's 3% hydrogen peroxide, but you get additional water that's absorbed by the skin cells. You can see the white skin cells there. It's, it's had a bleaching effect as well. So that's another thing what hydrogen peroxide drops can do. It can remove um, chromopores, I think they're called. They're pigments also found in um, melanin and it uh, breaks them down and it removes it. So it's got a bleaching effect, but these skin cells have really absorbed the, the water, both from the solution of hydrogen peroxide, but also the release of additional water. Um, and there's, there's a lot of bubbling there, so a lot of effervescence of carbon dioxide. This one here um, was an interesting one. This is saline um, sterile water. So it's not too dissimilar to seawater here, but that contains, as I said, that's isotonic. It contains minerals and electrolytes that mimic that of the, the body. This is 0.9% uh, sodium chloride um, in water. So it has a similar effect. The benefits of this is this is um, acidic, which mimics the pH of the air. That was alkaline. So, but I can't, I've not come across this in a, a spray format for the ear. So it's an interesting thing that maybe I'm gonna work to develop. Um, and compare that to sodium bicarbonate drops. This is sodium bicarbonate drops. Sodium bicarbonate drops is also alkaline. We want um, to, uh, the drops, if all, all possible, to mimic the natural pH of the air, which is between five and six. There's obviously variance there. 
And last but not least, the olive oil, which I alluded to earlier. So I'm gonna talk about this in more detail. Uh, it's also gonna be used for my clear wax training module. So I'll just do a little spin around so you can see it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Uh, oh, it's, it's always five minutes actually, quicker than I thought. Take care guys, speak soon, bye.